How's it going, Jake? Uh, it's going wonderful. Cool. Yeah. You, you having a good day? This is the last little bit of the day here. This is home stretch. You feeling okay? It's wonderful. Yeah. How's the cough? <coughs> Still there. Jake, today we're going to do another training drill. As everyone should. Yep. We're going to bring you today the Bruiser Cruiser, which uh, I'll get into the backstory of how I found this drill. Before we do that, shooting surplus. Mm -hmm. What are they doing for us, Jake? Um, <coughs> well, sponsoring the freaking video is what they're doing. That's exactly what I would have said. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So, thank right. you guys. If you guys use our code 1911, you get 5% off the entire website. So, you buy a gun, that 5% adds up a little bit. Gun, we got, yeah. you know, they got optics, license, they got any of the stuff you guys would need. They Anything. got it. They got, but they got it. Okay, yeah. so like, go. You just ordered something from there recently. Optic and uh, ammo. I got another optic I'm about to order. So cool. Yeah, I put my money where my mouth is. Well, thank you to everyone at Shooting Surplus. Appreciate you guys. Uh, what else do we got? Ammo. Ammo. U.S. Brass House. You can use our code 1911 <coughs> and a second code Syndicate will save you $40 off a case of ammo. We got 9 mil, 5.56. Uh, we really appreciate them taking care of us with all the ammo we shoot out here. I've had zero issues with it. I don't know about you. Never. So use that. Uh, use them if you want to buy some ammo. Last but not least, we are a real estate company. He's up here in Utah. I'm in Arizona. If you need help with real estate, we'd love to help you. We also have affiliates all over the country. And we got deals going on right now in shit, like East Coast stuff, Texas, Utah, obviously, Arizona, obviously. A couple other places. Alaska, finally. Alaska, yeah. California, Wyoming, or something like that. Yeah. So, cool. Anything else to add? Yep. Let's cool. do it. Bruiser Cruiser. So, um, average Joe's range day or Jim's goon life, if you've heard of them. Yes. Uh, Jim's Goon Life. I met Jimmy at uh, actually the Arizona Average Joe's Range Day a couple months back, cool. and a super sweet guy, awesome, was really cool just to catch up with and meet. He was recently up in the Pacific Northwest with Bruiser Industries, who is a former SEAL, got out, and uh, does some training, does some good content stuff, mm -hmm. and he kind of developed this drill because he noticed there was, you know, and he said YouTube guys, that would be us. He wasn't saying primarily us, but he noticed kind of a trend that guys on static ranges do static reloads. And he's like, unfortunately, that is kind of a training scar. Mm -hmm. He's like, when I was in doing the stuff that he did, you're always moving, finding cover on reloads and all that stuff. Another thing too is, because we're gonna be moving around together, this is a good drill on muzzle awareness. Sure. Okay, so I like to go muzzle down. Uh, he does muzzle up. Most guys that are SEALs do muzzle up. I don't think it's, Right or wrong either way, and I don't really have a place to say. Whatever you feel safe, you're safest with, do that. Sure. But always know where that muzzle is. So the idea is non-static reloads, muzzle awareness <coughs> while you're running, moving with a gun. Okay. So cool. So this is a modified Bruiser Cruiser, which is on Jim's Goon Life page. It's on Bruiser's Instagram and YouTube. You guys can find it in both those places. Um, it's in a nice downloadable PDF too, so download it, good to go. Okay. So we've got our target at 10 yards. We are not at a flat range, meaning this is not like a shooting range. No. We're out in the middle of nowhere and we found the flattest spot we could, so we had to modify this a little bit. Target's still at 10, but basically we have four cones, or in this case, we're using targets, rocks, clips, and stumps, clips, whatever we can, because again, we're not on a <coughs> flat range here. Um, which actually adds to the drill, I think. You know? Yeah. Doing it on a square range, a little bit easier, I guess because you got a perfect box and you know, you yeah, well the real out. world has bullshit in it. Bullshit in it. So, so you got your target at 10. We got a cone over here in the first corner. Corner. I'm gonna say cones, but we're using other stuff. There's supposed to be 10 yards space. We got five here. It's just the space that we got, guys. Now, you have other cones behind, or well, in front of us, but behind the camera, in the corners also, that are 25 from the target. So you got 10, 25, 15 yards in between. Five yards this way. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do is start at a far corner and we're gonna go for a modified kind of reduced A zone. Two hits, A zone from the far corner and then you run diagonal in the midst of your run, do a reload and then two rounds to the head box. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna flip. Once you're stationary at the new cone? Correct. Okay. Yeah, once you reach that cone, take your two low percentage shots. Okay. Then we go to the other corner, do it and then we reverse it. We're gonna do it from up front, nice and close and then move to the rear, okay? Okay, so it's four different evolutions. Four different evolutions, which brings you a total of how many rounds? Four times uh, four, 16. There you go. So, good job. Fucking math. Dang. You Fucking got, you math, gotta, hey, man. Just, there you go. 
Cool. Yeah. So there's a way that you're gonna score this with your hits and misses, as well as time, which we're gonna get into after we shoot the drill. Okay. Cool, let's sound good? It. You got any questions? No. All right, let's freaking do this. Jake, you're gonna be up first. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, okay. Here we go, guys. Two rounds, run diagonal as running, reload. Sorry, two rounds to the reduced A zone. He says just fold like a printer, <coughs> piece of paper in half and do that. I need a caveat this too. There is supposed to be at the close up, five yards in another shooting station. So the original drill will have five shooting spots. We're only doing four because that's what he did in his video. Okay. So we, we modified this slightly. Okay. Okay. Again, it's all downloadable, guys. So let me make sure. Okay, we're working. Is there a time that I should be going for, or do we not really know a proper time for this yet? What we're gonna do is add up the total time. <clears throat> so in between each string of fire, we will write down the time, or just memorize it, right? I'll put it in my phone. And then you're gonna score your hits and misses also. And then you add those together. Whoever has the highest number, highest score and lowest time wins. Okay, are we ready? Shoot it ready? Stand by. So, let's make sure it caught all these. First, second, third, fourth for a total of 1177. It's gonna be right up here for us. How you feel? Good. For the sake of pleasing Instagram, you could go down there I can tell you the hits are all in. There's one on the line. Yeah, we got a line break in the upper, in the head box, and then uh, both on the upper thoracic are good. We'll show you the target at the end of all four evolutions, just so you can not call bullshit on this. Yep, yeah. All right, now we're gonna go back to the other corner, and we're gonna do it again. So that first string was 1177, and here we go for string number two. Shoot it ready. We got a 979 on there, if people can see that. <coughs> it only picked up three rounds. That's unfortunate. With cans, it's it's gonna happen. With cans, it's gonna happen, guys. Um, it's clean. Yep, you're clean. So now we start close up and then we run back. So don't go anywhere. I got a Mac. So now we're going from up close, so headshots, two, running back to the far corner, right? Uh, upper thoracic. Okay. Are you gonna spin left or right? That way? Okay. Forward, Are you okay if I stand here? Yeah, I'll go muzzle down. Okay, cool. Again, guys, that's the point of this drill, right? Hits, time, and muzzle awareness. So here we go. Shooter ready? Stand by. Total of 1232, I bet it caught all four rounds, so let's check that. So it counted five rounds because one of your casings hit the hit this. So damn, that sucks. So I mean Yeah, I mean sh shit happens. Alright, so now last string of fire here. We're going up close again back to the far back corner. You ready to go? You okay if I go on your other side again? Yep. I shot center mass when I was up close. And I got back here and I'm like, man, that head sucks. Okay. And I was like, so I transitioned back to center mass. Okay. So there's four, should be four center masses on that. <laughs> so we just kind of fucked this whole drill a little bit. Yeah, but at the very least, look, there's debate that likes to go around from different personalities that says, hey, your, your gun tubers can't shoot and all this kind of stuff. And in some cases, that might be correct. Part of the reason we do these videos now is to at least show you, look, here's raw, real-time, unfiltered shit of yep. us shooting. There's yeah. gonna be good moments, there's gonna be bad. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I would wager to bet, this is the first time we've run this and we're not gonna run it again. Whether you guys wanna believe that or not, I don't really fucking care. But I'm sure a lot of people run a couple drills, pick the best one where they did the best. the first rounds I've shot on this gun today. And, how, and also in how much time? It's been a minute. I haven't shot this gun in six months. Yeah, so, cool. But that last one, we're at 12.59, <laughs> picked up. All four shots, 
let's uh let's head down there and count Check target yep. all right so the way that we score this is combine the times of all strings into a single aggregate time score target out of a hundred possible points a zone is five points c zone is three points d zone is one miss is zero points okay so now how do we want to factor that because you forgot your headshot <coughs> You want to know my honest opinion on this? Yeah. This drill, by the time we are done with this video, is going to be about us getting in some reps and not really knowing how the score went, minus being able to look at a target and what did we learn from it. Okay. Just doing, yeah, just running a drill. Not exactly how the instructor or creator of the drill yeah. intended it, which... We ran you know, the drill. Yeah, we ran the drill. So... I don't know that the times are not written down. I have an extra two center mass, lacking two on the head because I fucked it up. Yeah. It's like, hey, there. You, target wise, though, I go, okay, I see how my target is, and I'm content with that. Yeah. So your average time was anywhere from 10 to 12 seconds per string. So just off that, you're anywhere from 40 seconds to 48, 50 seconds plus or minus. Yeah. Right. So we let's factor that in. <laughs> your time's anywhere from 40 to 50 seconds, and. You did mess up on this, so yeah. I don't know how we'd score that. But judging by your group here, you probably would have landed the head. Probably, especially given that that's where I'm starting in the drill. So it's safe to assume I'm fresh. you probably didn't have any dropped rounds. Most likely. Okay. Yeah. Now, Bruiser, if if we just shit all over your drill, we apologize. We're doing the best we can out here in nature, right? Nature. Ready to run it for me? Yes. Okay. We ready? Uh, we start back though, right? Yep. All right, so I'm going to run this on your rifle. Not ideally set up. If you guys notice, I'm not running a sling because it's a lefty for him. We're going to make it work. Cool. We ready? Are you ready? Yep. Okay, stand by. <coughs> I can see one is out. Yeah, one head. Yep. Okay, you are okay. eight, eight, seven. Okay. I missed that. Oh. I got one out on the head again. You're at eight, one, five. Yep. I'd probably slow those heads down a touch. Nine eight seven. Let me just grab my mag. Stand by. I threw that first body shot. Ten oh one. Let's go check target. So I got <coughs> three dropped on the head. Two on the body so to me it's not so much slowing it down but remembering fundamentals so you can keep that speed up right i was getting sloppy and instead of having like a good purchase on the rifle it was dancing because i was trying to go fast right i want to go fast jake yeah so i think you would have benefited just my two cents yeah. of observing Pro probably your time would have been almost identical to mine to run it clean. 11 to 12. If yeah. you're adding one to two seconds, I bet there's no drops. Yeah. Is, to is then make guess. up, right? Increase the accuracy, but maybe slow down time a little bit. Cause and I was it, rushing these, bam, bam. Yeah. Where you're like, boom, boom. And then you'd run. Yeah, I was getting good, clean sight picture on them. But <clears throat> if you're running this to game it, to actually get the highest score, chances are a slightly slower time is gonna benefit you. Right. Because dropped, I don't know how he scores it, but those five drop yeah. is probably a substantial amount of points. 15. Yeah, yeah, versus picking up an extra six seconds. But you win on point scale. Yeah, but I'm saying, hey, if- No, you. yes, I'm agreeing with you. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, it's like, hey, I'll run it a tad slower. You know who, who I um, learned that, who does that very well? When you train at a Costa Luda's class, yeah, um, he almost always never loses the competitions that he sets out. Yeah, and it's not because he games it; he knows that everyone's going to try to shoot too fast. So he comes up and he's very deliberate. 
he has all clean runs, even yeah. though he doesn't actually have the fastest time, he winds up winning the competition because it's just clean. He did it our class. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like most of it's like, just run it clean. Like don't obsess about the time and you'll probably be fine. Yeah. But a great thing to add in is <coughs> the stressor that time is, right? Yes. And they, they put that in there, the stressor or for us the beat, but the stressor would be the better word. You get that stressor, you start to, I don't know, get a little discombobulated, speed up the time, accuracy suffers, so. Yep. But again, real-time data here. Go ahead and watch his video too. It's not like all of them ran it perfectly clean. Yeah. There's misses and drops we all miss, right? So, so I think this is a great drill. I'm definitely gonna do it more at home. Good drill. I think it'd be a fun warm-up drill too. It's a good First drill. First thing in the day, Yeah. go do that, which is what he <coughs> did in the, in the video, so. I like this one, this is a good yeah. drill. It's a good one, huh? So yeah. thank you, Bruiser. Appreciate it. And uh, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment section. You want to talk about how shitty we shoot? Yeah, well, it is what it is. There we go. Cool. Thanks, guys. Later, kids.